Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 259 of Aussie Tech Heads. Welcome once again, another episode, Thursday night, 13th of October. Jeez, unlucky 13. 30th October 2011. <laughs> and uh, full show tonight, very full show tonight. So uh, we might as well just introduce the guest, special guest tonight is uh, Steve. Hey, Steve, how you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Now, uh, and we've got Eric here, of course. How you doing, Eric? Hello, all. And, and this week, I'm going to just say from the outset what's happened to Will. He's, uh, he's uh, moving house, and he's not sure whether he's got internet connection or not. No one seems to be able to tell him if Optus can't tell him if he's going to get it, and oh, the ADSL people can't tell him if he's going to get it. So, you know, it's all over the place for Will. But he, he might, he'll be back in a couple of weeks, I guess, when he gets it all set up. Set up. Now, um, what do we got now? Now, Steve, where do, where do you come from? I come from Melbourne. <laughs> Did I Victoria? say that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there you go. And uh, so now, look, I, I had a little um, little couple of things here. What do you do with your spare time? My spare time? Yeah, he doesn't um, have any spare time. <laughs> I have a four-year-old. Oh, yeah. They take up a lot of time. Um, I, I try to play some games and I tinker around with tech stuff. And I run my own business, which involves tech stuff and tech stuff in the automotive industry. Yeah. Now, now I was having a look at your website, which I didn't actually copy down there, but it's Able Tech. Is that right? Abletech.com.au. Yeah. Now, so you're, so you would be an automotive technician. Is that right? Yeah, that's the technical name for a motor mechanic. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. So, because uh, I know I've looked in the about you page, and you're sitting in a in a car shell there with a with a computer. What what are you what are you doing in that shot? I I run it. Well, I used to run a dyno for 16 years and tune fuel injected cars with Motex and that sort of stuff, rally cars and off road cars, race cars, and all that sort of stuff. Oh, yep. Yeah, and uh, yeah, because I was going to ask you what 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 is a dyno operator? It's a guy that sticks the car on the dyno and gets in the car and drives it and does what he has to do on the dyno. Oh, right. good stuff. Good yes. stuff. <laughs> so, so you're a real dynamo, in other words. Well, there's someone who runs a dynamometer, I suppose. It can be a, a chassis dyno or an engine dyno. Right. My, okay. Most of my time was on a, a chassis dyno, but I did do a little bit of oh, yeah. an engine dyno as well. That good stuff. And now you're, uh, you're building PCs these days? I have been since... The early 80s. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. So what, what was your first PC? My first real computer was an Apple IIe. Nice. Yeah, mine was a 2C. So about, about two, the... two, it was called. Not, not really sure. But, that, you know, bef before that it was, uh, you know, the things with the two paddles, whatever you called it. Oh. Um, and, yeah, that was, know, yeah, like... yeah, Tempest or something. Uh, like. You know, Pong or whatever it was, you know, and yeah. down to the video arcades and all that sort of stuff when we were kids and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And, um, Eric, what have you been up to this week? Anything exciting? Uh, no, mate, I've just been flat out and, you know, running around like a mad-ass dog not getting anything done. Right. But no complaints. <laughs> oh, yeah, no that's complaints. good. It has been one of those weeks, hasn't it? And, si and since yeah, I yeah. spoke to you at, like, earlier this afternoon, I had a shave. See? Yeah, me too. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, you let us down, Steve. What's going on? <laughs> this is a clean. I should have said it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so we've got a few few bits of news uh, for everyone today. Uh, but first of all, if you want to join in on the Skype, you can call in on uh, the Skype name Aussie Techhead. And I know there's a few, there's a couple of people been trying to ring. And so lines are now open. You can call in now whenever you like, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll get you we'll get you on. I think um, uh, Joseph was around, and also Mark was trying to call in. So we'll have we'll have a we'll have a gas bag to some of those guys if they if they ring back and I can and I see it. Uh, all right, so you can join us in the lounge www.live.thesecrethub.com and uh, join the live show, join the recording live. Uh, you can listen audio only through Shoutcast, and um, uh, yeah, you got to set that all up. So yeah, do that not tonight. You can watch the live video on youtube.com forward slash. Uh, the Secret Hub, and also our daily paper out twice a day, paper.aussietechheads.com.au. Now, that's, uh, that's just a collection of little stories, or, or little tech stories from around the place, put into a nice little paper format, thanks to, um, I think, the services, paper.li. And uh, don't forget, Daylight Saving, we're still here. Uh, so everyone else, they're about 8.30, or what, what, when is it? 8.30 in the southern states, and 7.30 in Queensland. Sorry? In the good states. 
nine o'clock here. Well, it is now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. And um, what else we got to say? Oh yes, and uh, and Tech Webcast is replayed before Aussie Tech Ed's at around about seven o'clock p.m. Queensland time. All right. Now, what are we up to this today? Let me get my show notes and let's 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 kick one off. Uh, let's kick one right off. Where are they? Here we go. Now, first of all, what's been going on? Oh, I suppose are we gonna are we gonna talk about um, iPhone four S? I suppose if we've you got. Like. Yeah, so I might be getting one because I'm still on contract. But uh, if I wasn't, I would get one. So let's start it that way. <laughs> right. Now uh, you saw. Now you sent me a couple of plans from the Telstra, Telstra site. And, I uh, sent you. Did I? Did I? What did I send you? Uh, you sent me some plans. I sent you the link. Yeah. To um, there's a little a link that the Herald put up, and it goes to another site that they've created, and you can go on there and you can pick what plan you want, and then it comes up, and then you goes and you pick your carrier and whatnot, but. Hmm. I wouldn't bother with anyone but Telstra, to tell you the truth. Yeah, look, I, I was um, I was trying to get some plans from the other carriers, and I'll tell you, the Optus site, I couldn't even get into. I don't know why, but just could not get into it. That was hopeless. they got the worst website on the planet. Yeah. Nothing at Optus works. And you had some issues yeah. before the show, Steve, with Optus. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm coming to you now. I'm, I'm tethered to my Telstra mobile iPhone, Yeah. and because my Optus... Cable is too slow and too crappy. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so that's not a bad. Uh, that's not a bad throughput, I suppose, from a from a tethered device. So you're coming through with. Well, with it, yeah, good fit. Considering you can't tether with an iPhone, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So the iPhone S, um, yeah, every carrier, just about every carrier has got a plan. The iPhone 4S is available from Apple in two colours, the black or the white, and um, in, in three size capacities. <laughs> Which is 16 gig, 32 gig, and 64 gig. Now the pricing of those range from 799 up up until up until 999. The iPhone 4 and the 3GS are still also on sale at reduced prices. So if you're looking for an older model, you want to jump in and get a um, 3GS or something. And, uh, I wouldn't bother, would you? The no. battery life from the 3GS is shocking. Yeah, right. It's only eight bytes too. Yeah, well, um, my wife Kim, she was looking. At, she's looking around at the to, for an iPhone four, and then you know the prices are up around Telstra seventy bucks or eighty bucks or whatever. But then she came across Virgin, and I know Eric, you, oh. you, you shy away. Oh, you shy away. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because they all run off the Optus network, and they're just overloaded to the hilt. Yeah, but price wise, they got some good prices going. I think um, forty nine dollar plan, thirteen bucks for the phone, uh, for their yeah, pretty good plan they got going. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping out of that one because uh, look, if I had the, if it was my iPhone, I'd be or my new contract, I'd be going with the Telstra. Well, by the time your contract's up, when is your contract up, by the way? Oh, about this time next year. Yeah, well, me too, and I'll be getting whatever iPhone I've got at that time hmm. with but, tel with Telstra. But good news, everyone, because everyone knows that my phone has been up the up the cracker for quite some time. That's a Samsung, uh, wherever it is, oh, I've put in the drawer, that's right, because it kept talking to me. Um, it was a Galaxy S, and uh, it was, you know, really laggy and so forth and couldn't even get onto the, you know, onto any site or, you know, whatever, so it was just, it was just rubbish. So anyway, look, I had a spare couple of hours, so I thought I'll, I'll ring uh, Samsung up, and I got onto the guy there, and he goes, have you downloaded the key software? And I went, yeah, 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 done all that, buddy. And anyway, he goes, I'll send you a troubleshooting email. And I went, yeah, okay. So he sent me the troubleshooting email and had a little download link uh, to a file, the keys file, which was actually a more updated version than what was on their web page. So, right. so I downloaded the version that was sent through, the latest latest version from the, his email. Uh, it, the, the phone updated its firmware, it did everything, and now it's running like a dream. What were you running? Were you running Android 0 0.1 or something? <laughs> I don't know what it, the hell it was. <laughs> but it was, um, but it's now, now it's up to... Uh, 2.3.3. .3. Uh, what's that? Is that honeycomb, Steve? No, the gingy. The ginge. Gingerbread. Oh, yeah. The ginge. The, the ranger. <laughs> ranger bread. <laughs> it's still on the ginge. But, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but now it's, it's running perfect. It's great. It's great. Everything's responsive. Uh, I've got widgets working. Oh, it, it's good. It's, it's sort of, it's turning my, um, my uh, thoughts around you're a love. bit. You, you're in love again. Oh, yeah. Getting there. Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, iPhone 4S. So you're, you're a bit of an iPhone person, Steve, yourself? Steve, hello. He's, he's involved. Well, I think he is. 
He's, oh, he's frozen. I think he's he's frozen. He's frozen. We froze him out. Well, anyway. Well, yes. <laughs> oh, he's there he is. Back. He's back. Yes. yes. Mine hopefully will be coming tomorrow. He's frozen. Oh, see, so we give Telstra a wrap and look I, what happens. I pre ordered. I think he's pre <laughs> he's pre ordered. All right. Well, we'll just yes. Yep, we'll just leave Steve there for a minute. <laughs> Poor bastard, he's got he's got um, Optus cable problems. Who'd have thought you'd have problems with Optus cable? Fair dinkum. Oh gee, who who you who would have thought? Who would have thought? But anyway, while we while we're doing that, we've got uh, we've got a caller, Joseph from Western Australia, I think. Hey, Joseph, how you going? Cool, thanks. Yeah, that's good. What have you been up to? We've we've heard from you before. Turn your stream off. Just have to turn. Just have to mute your stream there. I think there's a big mute button in the middle somewhere. On the on the live stream. Yeah, on the live stream. Yeah, I've turned that off. I think. Oh, that's a bad connection. So um, oh, that's better. Is that better? All right, we'll, we'll try that. So how how you been, Joseph? Um, good, thanks. That's good. What have you been up to since we last heard from you? Um, co crossing the Nullarbor Plain. Oh, geez. That's a bit of an effort, isn't it? Yep, 2,000 k's to Seduna, I think, and back. Yeah, right. What is it? Did you drive? Yep. Yeah, right. Was that for, like, a holiday or just something to do? Yeah, well, something to do <laughs> and it was on a break. Oh, okay, that's all right. What's the price of petrol out in the middle of the Nullarbor? 150-something. Uh, 150-something. Oh, well, that's not too bad. That's, it's, it's cheaper than what I'm paying. It's cheaper than what I'm paying. Yeah, so um, we might have to get you to find that mute button there, Joseph. Okay. We'll, we'll come back to you. Yeah. We'll come back. Can you hear me? We'll come back. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm back. Um, all right. We'll come back to Joseph. I think I'm not sure. I, I don't have the stream open, so I can't see. I can't see where the mute button is. But um, I'm not sure where that where that is. So we still got that echo. A lot of echoing. Um, all right. Maybe it wasn't Joseph. Maybe it was us. Hang on. I think the internet's are playing up on us tonight. Hang on. I'll just pause this. And so we'll have a fiddle around. And I'll just do it. Can you hear me again? Yeah, you're all right. Yes. You still there, Joseph? Uh, yep. One, two, three. Yeah, that's that that's sounds good. Better. Yeah, that sounds good. Was it? Did you I've find just, the mute button? No, I've just I've just quit the um, live stream. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it was dragging on your on your bandwidth. Oh, what's okay. this rubbish here? Uh, hang on, undo. I just created a new track, and I created a grand piano track. Well done. We'll all sound like chipmunks. <laughs> Do you want to say what? That plus. Edit here. All right, hang on. Another, another stereo. Create. <laughs> all right. So here we go again. We'll just go record. <coughs> All right, so we're back with uh, Joseph, and he's just been telling us about crossing the Nullarbor Plains and petrol's on dollar fifty-seven a, a litre. Not too, too, not too much more expensive than what I paid today. I think I paid about a dollar forty-eight. Nearly fell over, which wouldn't. Oh, have been. that's nothing, mate. What are you complaining about? Yeah, dollar well, forty-eight. That's a dream. Yeah, that's too much. Yep. That's too it's much. A oh, it's too much. Dollar forty-eight for diesel in Perth. Dollar forty-eight for diesel. I don't know how much diesel is over here, but um, yeah. So, so you cross the Nullarbor. What else has been going on? Anything else, Joseph? Um, I'm going to get an electric car. Oh, really? What sort? <laughs> the iMeve. Okay. And what? And what's the specs on that? Like, how long do they last for the battery? Uh, well, the battery's supposed to last for about, you know, you know ten years, so they reckon, or eight, eight to ten years. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, but it's really a micro car, similar to a smart. So you're paying uh, just big bickies for. Just getting the latest gear, I guess. Yeah, right. And so, how, so it's, it's totally electric? It's not yep, like it's to totally electric. Uh, real supposed um, distance of 100 k's. 
Right. That, that's um, per charge. Is that yep. right? Yeah, okay. You won't be crossing another bore in that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? If you, would, if you were to go on a big trip, what, would you just chuck an le- extension lead in the boot or something? <laughs> no, you don't use it. You do, it's only meant for a city, like a round a city. Not, it's not like a smart, a smart vehicle. It's not meant for long distances. Oh yeah, and how long does it take to charge? Do you know? Yeah, it takes about uh, seven hours on a fifteen amp uh, socket, and they have because in Perth at the moment they have this WA EV trials that are going on. It began in twenty ten, oh. and for two years. Yeah, and um, they well basically they've got these. High power, oh, 32 amp charges. Um, well, in five places around the Perth city, uh, like at WA or Newspaper House, right. and at the at the Water Corporation, and also the Main Roads Department, and yeah, basically, and they they those charge in about maybe half the time. So basically, normal the normal charge is seven hours overnight. Jeez. So probably if you you're on empty, it's like um, well half that. So yeah. And what you'd only get so, about 100k out of it. Is that what you're saying? Uh, for yeah, for wealth, that's the real value. Um, the real, uh, with all air conditioning and etc. turned on, I think. But it's supposed right. to go. I mean, well, the specs say up to 160. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right. And uh, how did you spell the name of it? I'll try and get a picture up for the viewers. It's I for well I dash M I E V for Mitsubishi. It's on the Mitsubishi website. Oh, oh just get a Tesla. Don't worry about this yeah. Mitsubishi stuff. Get a Tesla. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm going to get possibly when the um, Roadster S comes out. Yeah, very nice car. Yeah, I've just yeah. put a picture up there on the stream. It's Oh, yeah, it looks like one of those little smart things, doesn't it? Looks like yeah. a spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> it's, got, it's got funny um, tyres because the rear tyres are 175s and the front tyres are 145, so they're really weird, um, basically like smart, the smart tyres. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, it's for well efficiency, I guess, and yeah, efficiency. Yeah, and I mean, what, less rolling resistance. And we're just having a look right. at some uh, interior photos there. Oh, so I've got a little, um, yeah, a little TV screen. Uh, next year, the Leaf is coming. The Nissan Leaf. That's probably more. It's better value. Oh yeah, it looks pretty comfortable. Is it? It look doesn't look like there's much leg room in the back though. But um, that's, yeah, it, that, that's it's pretty the tall. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And when, Nice and looking car. What's one of those going to set you back? Uh, well, the one that I'm, I've, well, I specced out is a 60 grand. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. That, that's, a, that's a lot of money. But is that, yeah. so are you going for this just to be for the environmental <laughs> impact? Uh, yeah, well, just, yeah, well, I'm just like to check it, the stuff out, yeah. Yeah. It's got it's got a sat it's got a sat nav as well. That's why it's bumped the price up a bit. I'd recommend the retail. I mean, not retail. I'm um, just the um, before stamp duty and all that. It's supposed to be forty eight eight hundred. That's the official price um, from Mitsubishi without any sat nav or anything. But I, I had the um, paint protection etc. put onto it as well. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, so that, that's like so. You how many of those have been sold? Like they wouldn't be too many, would they? Or like, are these popular? Uh, Mainly, it's main, yeah, they're mainly going to uh, fleet um, things, and I think I'm well. According to the salesperson, I'm the first um, p- uh, private buyer of it. Yeah, nice, nice work, good stuff, and yeah. So, and sorry, I missed when you were talking about how does it charge? Did you just plug it into an outlet? Uh, you have you have to have a 15 amp um, socket installed. So that's another um, say 200 bucks for your electrician to stick a 15 amp into your house. Right. Like a how much would that cost? To charge it, you know, how much would it cost to charge it seven hours? Um, yeah, good question. Probably, uh, well, less than the petrol that it would, it would take. I'm not, I haven't yeah. really guessed. I haven't really done. I think, hold on, um, probably mm, maybe is it 10? Make, make it half. I think it's about half the half the price of petrol or something. Okay, yeah, well, well, that's not too bad as long as it, you get the advantage there. And so, so the, the noise, there'd be no engine noise, would there? Be, yeah, it was just well. It's got probably a wine, a wine, a bit of a turbo. I mean, like a, a wine, turbine right. wine, maybe. Yeah. So I'm, maybe if you if you drove your car and 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 Julia Gillard was next to you, there'd be a similar noise. You know that <laughs> wine. <laughs> yeah. Pull hard left. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's exactly right. Go hard, right. hard left. You wear out those tyres, mate. Be careful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's good. And when do you take delivery of this little monster? 
Um, after the Chogham, there's going to be a Chogham thing in Perth soon on the 28th of uh, October. So probably some time after that. Yeah, nice. Well, there you go. There's a, there's an opportunity. You can stand next to the ringer. <laughs> yeah. See, I've got a wine. You've got a wine. Let's have a picture. <laughs> let's have, <laughs> let's have a wine off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, that's good, Joseph. That's that's great. All right. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to to tell us about today? Uh, yeah. Basically, um, there's there's this thing. I think I, I went on about it a few, uh, well, a couple of years ago now about um, the copying of uh, files, uh, cancelling the copy to a flash drive. That's right. And Windows Windows 7 Service Pack 2 has um, fixed that bug, basically. Even Service Pack 2 of, I'm sorry, pack, sorry, sorry, Service Pack 1 of Vista, I mean, sorry, not Vista, I mean, Windows 7 has fixed it, but Service Pack 2 of Vista still hasn't fixed that bug. Right. Yeah, so, well, as long as it's fixed in uh, 7, that's all that matters, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah get off it Vista. It has to be 7, Service Pack 1. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're up to seven now. On your you've got seven running. Yep, I've got seven on the um on my main machine, and also on this. I'm I'm speaking to you on a MacBook Pro at the moment. Oh, nice. That'll make Eric and uh, Steve happy. Good boy. Hey. Good boy. Hey, Steve. Is he no, Steve. Steve. Steve's agnostic. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, well, thanks for that update. And I know because um, you used to have a bit in the forum there about that problem, and but now the forum's no longer because it got spammed and hacked and everything. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. that, that's how it works. Is, your, is the website up? I haven't checked it for a no, while. No, look. still up? Oh, there's a landing page. That's about it. Oh, right, okay. Right. Yeah, that's about it. But, um, yeah, good stuff. All right, Joseph, was that all? Oh, well, I just also, also just the words. Um, some people, I've noticed that people use really a lot. Yes, really, yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> you know, you're not a fan of that. Um, I've just been trying to stop it, as I said. I think before, I'm a bit of a word sponge, so mm. I'm, I've stopped actually and really. Yes, yes, yeah. I know. There's a lot of words that I think once you start looking into yourself, you find, oh yeah, I just I say those words a lot, or you know, yeah, I could cut down. Joseph, on. what you should be really bugging you <laughs> is when every second word is like. Yes. Oh, yes. Like, listen, yeah, listen like to is any one. American yeah. show, especially from um, you know West Coast, you know South Southern California, and it's it's just unbelievably Valley, just bogan. Mm. All right. Good stuff. All right. Thanks, Joseph. Thanks for calling in. Yep. Cool. We'll, we'll put you back in the lounge. Good stuff. All right. Yep. Talk to you again soon. Okay. Thanks. No worries. All right, now where were we? That that was into that that car. How's that car going? That's what do you reckon, Steve? What's your prog? You're not into electric much. Oh, like at the moment, while we're using coal power power stations to get our power, like you're just shifting the carbon footprint from one place to another. Something yeah, I agree. I, that's what I was getting at. I agree. I just think that you know all the greenies and everything is going on about electric this the electric chemicals that, that are in the batteries are so toxic and bad and you can't get rid of them exactly um, like there are actually more problems with electric cars um we're just not there yet and, and unless um, society starts to want to look at nuclear power which i'm not saying it's for or against it but like while we're while we're using coal fire power stations like we're just shifting the problem from one place to another so agree what agree a, what about hydrogen um, cars Hydrogen cars. Yeah, you got to make the hot. You got to you got to convert it. Like, what, what is it? Um, you got to make the stuff or get it from somewhere, and that takes energy. Mm, true. So, like yeah. water. So, mm. and that's um, what do you call that? Um, electro. What is it? Oh, geez, what do you call Southern. it? What do you? What do you have? Electrolysis. I can't remember. <laughs> Electrolysis, that's it, yeah. Like, that takes a lot of energy to do. So, once mm. again, you're just yeah. moving it from one problem to another, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Oh, the humanity. All right. Next next uh, story. Let's move on to uh, something else. Did you have any stories, um, Eric? Uh, let me just have a quick look, shall I? You can. I was going to say that I've got my iPhone hopefully coming tomorrow. Eric, will I get it tomorrow? <laughs> I have no I idea, mate. It. As soon as I could, I, I got on, I rang him up, and that was like only a few. Well, I rang up. And it wasn't on sale yet, and he said he'd ring me back. And like about three hours after it went on sale, he rang me back, and I put my order through. That's the pre-order, right? This is Telstra. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they're, no, not, they're mine, not released. Mine's no, no contract. Sorry, what's that? Just, I, mine's outright. I just ordered it from Apple. Oh, from Apple? Yeah, yeah. You've because uh, they're not released until the fourteenth. 
So it'll yeah, be well, it's you'll be so it'll be table. it'll it'll leave their warehouse tomorrow. Yeah, from Sydney. Yeah, or oh, wherever you are. I think they've got warehouses everywhere. So, so why did you You're buy? Why did you buy it straight from Apple? Because I don't want to be on a contract. Um, I've already got a SIM card, which I get, you know, two two gigabyte plus a hundred meg of downloads, and my phone bill is forty four dollars a month. So. No. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, Eric, you, you'd be you'd be across the iOS five. Yeah, have been. I can talk about it now because it's out. I've oh had yeah, it for about I, three months. Yes, we'll have it. Have a go. Ah, uh, look, <laughs> a lot of people are, are getting uh, very excited about it because you know it's new. But at this point, I'm not excited about it because it's stuff at it for three months. <laughs> <laughs> but it but it does work well. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And um. It does work very well. Yeah. So, what's what's the main? What would be the main feature? Um, it's a, it's seems to be a lot faster. Yep. Um, you know they, they've copied straight straight off um, Android the um, the front screen here. If you want to have a look at that, I don't know if you can see that. No, it's a very bad reflection. Yeah. You can't. So it's a bit Androidy looking. Yeah, Androidy look. That way. Why make... am I getting a bad reflection? Anyway, this camera is terrible. But it released it yesterday, uh, apparently, like to the wider general public. Yeah, it was released this, this morning. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Steve's got it on. He's got the weather and the and the notification center. That's pretty good. Um, but it's just a lot faster. You know, there's not some of the apps that they're building for it are a little bit better. You know, there's not there's not a lot to it, and it's re- it was really built for the iPhone 4s really. Mm. So I think um, one of the main one of the main um, things that has come out of it is you will be able to uh, update by, via Wi-Fi. Yes, that's right. Oh, there's, no, there's no more attaching your your iPhone to iTunes to download their updates. You can do it over the air now. Yes, and but, they won't be you know in the old the days. Screen. What's that, Steve? Yeah. There's a camera button on the home screen now, which is really cool. Oh, okay, nice, nice. You can take, uh, uh, Steve. You can take pictures with the with the volume button. With the back, volume control, yeah, yeah, as well. Nice. So if you're on lock, you just with press the, the home button, and the camera icon comes up, and you can go straight to the picture without scrolling, putting in passwords, that sort of stuff. That's right. Um, yeah, so the new but, uh, uh, iOS 5 features a centralized notification center, a new free messaging service for sending text messages, photos, and videos between Apple devices, and a new newsstand application for managing print subscriptions. Um, yeah, I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, so Android, though, must be said that it's had the wireless, wireless syncing for some time. It has. It, it has. has. And they're not, they're not full up. Before, with the updates, you'd, you'd be 200 megs. Every time mm. there was an update. Now they just the updates just incremental, so it was very small. So I don't know about you, but I when I turned on the Mac today, I had a one point three gig update. Did you, yeah. go, did you get what that? Are you, li- you running Lion? Oh, the Mac Mini, yeah, the latest thing. Yeah. 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 Well, I have. Yeah, it's quite a big update. Mine was eight eighty eight. Eight eighty eight. Yeah, my, I don't know why mine was one point three, but might have might have chucked in iTunes stuff. as well. But uh, yeah, so so it updated and uh, look. Apparently, you got to connect your device one more time before it, uh, to the to the new updates before then they'll start syncing wirelessly. So yeah. you've got to get the and software. And you've got that thing it. on the iTunes on the iPhone as well that you can download all your previously purchased songs that that weren't on there before. So you might have lost some songs or got deleted by accident. Well, you found two hundred and fifty. You were saying before. I found two hundred and fifty, two hundred and fourteen. Sorry, sorry, two hundred and fifteen songs that have been deleted. That I can now grab without having to buy again. Yeah, nice. <laughs> now, over in um, in Australia, in New South Wales, all the way down there, the Federal Court Justice Annabel Bennett today granted Apple an injunction against Samsung, <laughs> Samsung blocking the sale of the Galaxy Tab 10.1. So it looks like uh, starting mm. to get a bit serious, isn't it? So they reckon the whole idea about this is um, it's understood that the the patents in dispute are over detailed design of the touch screens and their ability to enable vertical scrolling even when a person touching the screen doesn't move the finger in a precise vertical pattern. Well, there you go. Gee, that's pretty uh, touch and go, isn't it? <laughs> so Apple has repeatedly accused the, the uh, manufacturer, the Samsung's manufacturing or whatever, Samsung of blatant copying of aspects of its mobile device technology. Now, if you're on the live stream, I'm just throwing up some pictures of a uh, Android and a, a uh, Samsung and an iPad, and I suppose they look a little bit similar. I don't know if you'd actually They're get them confused. 
Yeah. Well, what if what if the galaxy was the same size? Oh, gee, that looks pretty close. <laughs> but they're different sizes. Yeah, but there's a ten point one as well. You're oh, at that's right. Yes. Yeah, there is. That's right. You, you're right. Yes. Yeah, I think the ten point one was um. Look very um, similar. Very, very, yeah, very easy to get confused. Yeah. If you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I suppose, yeah, looking at that, looking at that one there, they do. But all the tablets are going to look pretty much the same, aren't they? Pretty much. But anyway. Well, well yeah, possibly. It's a but, screen, no. isn't it? Sorry, Steve. It's just a screen. Like, how can you make a screen look different? Yeah, it's that vertical scrolling that's got that got their knickers in a knot. Well, turn yeah. it sideways. <laughs> But um, good voice control. But talking of uh, talking of games, because oh, I know we were uh, Digital Australia 2012, the Interactive Games and Entertainment Association, and Bond University surveyed one of these surveys that did a whopping 1,252 households, comprising 3,533 women, men, and children in June, has found that 92% of households owning at least one gaming device. So 92% yep. of households own one gaming device. That's quite high, isn't it? All right, let's do a survey. What have you got, mate? Uh, well, today, well, I've got a Wii. Yes, and now uh, you've got an Xbox. <laughs> and I've got an Xbox. That's right, I've got an Xbox today. So I haven't unpacked it yet. It's still on the floor. But um, Yeah, that'll be another four weeks before you get to that. <laughs> probably, <laughs> the way I get around the things. 22% uh, of respondents downloaded games from online stores. Uh, the research also found that 43% of households played games on their mobile phones while 13% used tablet computers. Game consoles were 63% of homes, 13% had dedicated handheld consoles. 75 And there's heaps of other stats there, but um, women make up 47% of the gaming community, which is half and half, which is probably a little bit surprising. I would women? Think. What? Really? Women? Yeah. 47%? 47%, apparently. Where uh, are these chicks? Yeah, they're on, um, what's that show on the ABC? Good Game or something. There's one of them. Uh, well, my little girl, she's, well, I suppose all kids, you know, they're all into DSs and, and oh, Steve. Oh, the kids, I can understand, but, you know, I'd like to find someone over the age of 30 that plays a video game. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Women. Yeah, true, 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 but maybe maybe they, but then again, 1,200 households, who knows. Uh, the Yeah, so th th this part of the research is a bit crappy. Like The research found ADSL to be the most popular internet connection. That's probably because it's the most widely available. Um, with 72% of house households using it for broadband and blah, blah, blah. There's some other stats there. It's all in the... Uh, where'd that come from if you want to look at it? It's in the Australian. Australian.com.au. Hard things. Very good. Yes, yeah, so... Um, all right, so now what else has been going on? Eric, have you had a ch did you listen to any audio books this week? I did have a little bit of a listen to one which grabbed my attention. Do you want me to uh, go into that now? Yes, why not? Okay. Hang on one second. So what we do here is um, Eric's a big Audible fan, uh, audible.com, and you can get a free book if you sign up by hitting the link on the aussietechheads.com.au webpage. And you get you sign up for 30 days or whatever it is and you get a free book to keep forever and ever and ever, even if you don't continue on with your subscription. Uh, so, yeah, so if you, can, if you want to join up, go to the Audible, um, go to aussietechheads.com.au, sign up through the link on the, the banner link on that site and then you can help us and also help Audible get richer. I suppose. All right. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, help you. Don't yeah. worry about Audible. Yeah, no, help okay. me first. Help Audible second. <laughs> All right. Now, this book here is called, it's written by a gentleman called Joel Brenner. And, um, and the title is called America the Vulnerable, New Technology and the Next Threat to National Security. And what it's about it's uh, a former top-level national security agency insider goes behind the headlines to explore America's next great battleground, digital security. An urgent wake-up call that identifies our foes, unveils their methods and charts the dire consequences for government, business and individuals. Mm. Shortly after 9-11, Joel Brenner entered the inner sanctum of America's espionage, first as the Inspector General of National Security and etc., etc., etc. So this guy is on the in. And he's basically saying that uh, the next war to hit America will be, you know, the hackers, the, um, you know, bring down systems, uh, yep. financial systems, especially banks. That's yep. what they'll be going for. So um, I'll play a little bit of a grab. You tell me if this comes through. It should come through. 
Not yet. Yeah, Mer sensitive yeah, diplomatic Mer cables are suddenly splashed across the headlines worldwide. The same organizations that broadcast those cables gleefully distribute lists of critical infrastructure, airports, bridges, chemical plants, that are the most vulnerable to attack. And as I describe in the pages that follow, we're losing strategically sensitive data about aircraft and ship design, radars, and other defense technology, as well as information about auto manufacturing, engineering designs, and other commercial innovations. This theft contributes to the tidal flow of capital from west to east. Right, there you go. Yeah, nice. I was, yeah, nice. I was, I was just thinking I'm about, just thinking I read a story yeah, today, that the, story that, the, today that the... Dang, I've got a bit of echo I'm coming back, of to me. back to me. We just uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And... And... I was going to tell Eric that there's... That's better. So I was I was just saw a story today that Sony was hacked again. Yes, I, I um yeah I just don't know what they're doing. Yeah, so that's yeah. Um, seems pretty bizarre. crazy. Seems I don't know what they I don't know what they're doing, but it seems pretty crazy. Um, it's constantly getting hacked. Constantly getting hacked. And speaking of Sony, mm. they just bought the rights to the Steve Jobs movie. How's that? They did, did they? I heard they were looking they at it. Yeah, apparently they bought it. Now the question is, who's going to play play Steve Jobs? Hmm. I don't know. Why is there some front runners, or what's the go? No, they haven't mentioned any because Noah Wiley, the guy that was in ER, he played Steve Jobs once before in a movie called. Um, oh, I've got this movie. I can't remember the name of it now. Anyway, there is a movie. Look up Noah Wiley, Steve Jobs on Google, and you'll get the name of the movie. Um, and they reckon he's a front runner, but he he did play him quite well. You know, Bill Gates was in the movie too, or the character. Yep. Uh, um, but um. Mm. Yeah right. Well, I suppose time will tell, but I, I don't know. Like, um, it'd probably be a it'd be a good part to play. I don't know. It'd be a hard part to play. I just, you know, sort of show that intensity and that passion and the and I, you know get that distortion reality field going. Not I, easy. I saw that uh, that um, I saw something. I forget what it was now. That was D T in the chat room has just said Samuel L Jackson. <laughs> No, well, I was gonna say I saw something. I saw, I saw. Oh, that's right. I saw that the book has been brought forward, the biography. Yes, October twenty-four. I've I've pre-ordered it. Nice, nice, nice. And you ordered that through the Apple Store, iBooks, or whatever it is. There's there's many ways you can get it. You can get it from Amazon. You can get the hardcover from Amazon. You can buy the i. You can get it from the Apple Store as an iBook. Yep. Um, you can buy it as a Kindle book. Yes. And you can buy it as an audible book, right? As well, nice, nice. All right, so we're going to have one more one more story now, and then I can. I think that the head's coming in. I can hear him rumbling outside. He's knocking on the door and he's trying to get in. I'll let him in in a second. But while you were just yeah. talking about uh, Bill Gates, he's um, apparently he's going to visit Sydney. Did you Did you read that? No, um, I, I saw that somewhere. When is he coming? Uh, it doesn't say, but it just says that speculation is apparently rife in Sydney property circles that uh, Bill Gates has secured a harbourside parcel of land for a Sydney-based summer home. Hold on. I oh, guess. he's coming for the whole day. Yeah, so it looks yeah, like... You'll get something at Vaucluse or something and pay about, I don't know, 40000 a week for it. Yeah, so well, acor according to Property Observer, um, Bill Gates is set to stay on, this, on the harbour at Point Piper. Oh, there you go. So Gates will call, Gates will call car dealing yachtsman Neville Crichton's property home during the trip. Last week, Gates was named America's richest person by Forbes magazine for the 18th year in a row. Wow! Wow, that's all right, isn't it? But he's not the most, not, not the richest in the world. No, not no, no, not anymore. No, 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 I think a couple of oil billionaires <laughs> took that off him, didn't he? Oh, Did that you? that gentleman from. Um Mexico, the, the telco guy. Oh, right. Yeah, right, right. Funny thing, he, he runs a phone company, and amongst other things, um, and his name is Carlos Sim. Yeah, right. That's, that's yeah, it's pretty funny. Coincidence, coincidence. Micro Sim. All right. So we've got, we've got, a, we've got a story for the head, and um, here he is. Oh, not a story. Hello. Not a story, but a, but a question. Now, uh, <laughs> can you... Can you... <laughs> 
Can you please, uh, Eric, did you get the, the letter today for the head? Uh, y yes, I, I, we did uh, speak about it briefly, but and the, I'll get that here. I actually, I actually copied the letter into the, the notebook. Your notebook or mine? Oh, ask, ask the head notebook. Did you get that? Uh, Brett, is that the one? That's the one. Yes. Brett Hi. from Illawarra. Hi, Brett. Oh, you can go. I'll, I'll read it for you if you want. Thank Hi, you. head. Been watching your segment for a little while now and find you to be the most knowledgeable head in the universe. <laughs> it has come to pass that I need some universal information and help myself. Where should I seek this help? I asked my friends and family. They all replied, ask the head. Turn it up. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't so here you? I am. He's going well, to Thailand on Saturday. He has an iPhone 4. He has rang 3 and asked him to turn on roaming. Is there any other settings that I need to do to the phone that not... Well, that will allow me to receive calls overseas. Okay. All right. Now, 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 the head has has pondered this question. He's he's consorted with the with the brains trust, the head's brain trust. And um, Eric, you you've got some uh, some uh, experience with roaming. I have. It's extremely expensive. Number one, um, because he's with three, which is now owned by Vodafone. If he was going to a country that um, Vodafone was in, and unfortunately Thailand isn't one of them. Uh, for example, if he went to Hong Kong or Singapore or um, the UK, a lot of places in Europe, you um, as soon as you get to those countries, you can turn on, you can just choose Vodafone as your carrier, and you get very similar rates to what you would get at home. So that there's not a roaming issue, really. Yeah. Um, but he's going to Thailand, and they don't have that. Right. Um, I tried looking up the telcos in Thailand. I really couldn't get a. Google hasn't got much information on the telcos in Thailand, whether or not he can get a prepaid SIM or not. Um, apparently, he doesn't want a prepaid SIM, maybe, because he's expecting calls while he's away. Um, and so I had a look on the three website, and and it's I think you're going to have to call them and get their roaming rates mm. to see what it's like. Um, Telstra's roaming rates you know, to Thailand are $2.50 a minute to receive a call. That's a lot. Three, it's a lot to so, receive, a, receive a call. So the best idea is to try and get your phone, ring up your telco. First of all, you've got to try and see if they will, um, or yeah, if, unlock it. And then yeah. see, and then once you get there, see if you can buy prepaid SIMs. Get, prepaid SIM and give that number to everyone back home to call <laughs> so that, um, you know, cause, yeah, you know you calls from, from Australia to Thailand are very cheap. But, but calls from Australia to Thailand while you're roaming is not so cheap for yeah. you. Yeah, like I know I'm not sure how techy you are, uh, Brett, but uh, I was just thinking as well. Maybe you, like, you could set up a Skype, a Skype account as well, and could you forward your oh, Australian no, number? But you'll need, you'll you'll need data for that, mate. Oh, okay, yeah, of course, yep. You'll need data for that, and it'll charge you an absolute bomb. You don't want to come home with a four thousand dollar bill. No. Um, I sent you, I think, an email with the screen grabs. I don't know if you got those. I with, did. Um, what he has to do, the, I, the settings, he just which bits to turn off. That's right. So because so to turn off your. Sorry, Eric, go. No, that's all right. If you, want, if you want to splash it up on the screen, you can. So you've got to turn off your 3G completely because, uh, yes, your Facebook and your Gmail or whatever else you've got going, you know, your, your YouTubes and all that, that'll all update and that'll all yep. take off your Wi-Fi and so, come off your card and roam and stuff like that. Yeah, so turn yeah. off data roam completely. Yeah, turn it straight you can off. Turn cell, you, can sell, you can turn the other one off too, cellular data. That You will still... You still get phone calls. You can turn that off as well if you want. Right. But definitely turn off data roaming and just use your Wi-Fi. Yep. In the in the hotel. All right. And what's the and the other one here is oh it's the same one. Is it two the same? It's the same one, but they they're all turned off now. Right. Right. So yeah. So you want you want to turn it all off. You don't want any Wi-Fi, any uh, internet coming through while you're um while you're roaming. But use yeah. the, use the uh, the hotel's Wi-Fi if you can. Yeah. If you want to if you want to um. You know, check your Facebook, your Twitter, or email. Um, you know, whatever. Upload photos. Just do it on the Wi-Fi. I would suggest. Yeah, but yeah, as uh, Eric said, if there's nothing over over in Thailand, like prepaid jobs or whatever that it was going to help you, yeah, just turn the just get the carry to turn roaming on, and away you go. You pay for it through the nose. Yeah, turn, the turn, get them to turn it on anyway, just in case. But there are three telcos in Thailand. Um, but there's not much information from here. But when you get to the a lot of the time when you get to the airport. You know those those um, in any airport the um, where you, the currency exchanges where you yep. change you know you want to change your dollars over for for whatever 
a lot of those booths um, sell SIM cards, prepaid SIM cards. Right. So it might be worthwhile getting off the plane, going to the ATM, taking some money out, going to one of those booths and just saying, look, I need to buy a, a micro SIM, prepaid um, phone micro SIM with data. Yep. And they'll, they should... You know, you might you might get lucky with that. Yeah. Now you, because you went to Singapore and you uh, you were over there and you rang Telstra up and said, "Oh look, I'm overseas. Can you unlock the phone? I want to put another card in it." And that that was yeah. successful. Yeah, easy. They did it. They did it quite easily. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Five minutes. All right. So there's only one question tonight for the head. That was that was big enough. So um, head, I'm going back to. He's going back to his room, and um, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll resume the show as per normal. All right. Now, what, where are we going? Where are we going now? We got another story. What happened to uh, Steve? Dropped out. Um, I'm coming. He's coming back. I got a free He's coming back. Maiden. He's coming back. He's coming. Now I've got one here. Um, Victoria launches events app for Android and iPhone. Uh, thousands of events in Victoria will be in the palm of your hands, thanks to a new smartphone application. Now this thing is called Vic Events. And look, it's going to run on the iPhone, the Android, and um, whatever. Uh, people will be able to choose from a range of categories, including sports, uh, community, events, and food fairs. Community, and food fairs. And, um, and um, get a bit of echo there. Get a bit of echo there. Still going. Still going. Is everyone muted? Is everyone muted? Yeah, I'm, I'm muted. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's All right. try let's, that. Let's try that. All right, hang on. We're gonna right, gonna have a break. We'll fix this up. Have a break. All right. All right. I'm, I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know where that. That's a real good Unmuted. one, isn't it? That's a real testing. Muted. Testing. Yeah, I'm getting. Yeah, I'm back. getting. Back. Well, I think that happens when well, someone drops out or someone, someone drops in. Drops in. So mute. Well, so I can drop. And come back in if you come want. Back. There you go. There you go. Well, this is happening. I think there's a problem with the internet tonight from my yeah. playing around here. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Some stuff's working really fast and some stuff's just not working at all. And it's I don't think it's Optus, which that pains me to say. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you get that. Sometimes you get that. There you go. You're still, you're still you echoing, go. mate. Echoing. Uh, so, hang on. Uh, is that gone away? Is that gone away? No. no. Well, no. I don't have any echo. Okay. I'm getting, I can yeah, hear I'm getting, I can hear echo. I can hear. So the stream is still, so the stream. let me have a look at my stream, make sure that hasn't popped back on. No, that hasn't popped on, that's all right. Gone, all right. Um, uh, so, so uh, I can't, can you, can you, Steve, I don't Steve, know. Can you mute what? and unmute? Can you... Or unmute and mute? That's unmuted. Yep. How's that? That's yep. unmuted. Now it's muted again? Yes. No. It's muted. No. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I'll exit out uh, and see if it goes away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm did out. It, did it go away? Did it go away? One, two, three. One, two, three. No, one, two, three. Hang on, I might just... One, two. Yeah, it's gone. Testing. One, two. Did hello? Steve... Yeah, hello. That went. Hello. It's gone. She's gone. 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 Get yeah. up here. Oh, oh, She's gone. So what, what's the feedback coming through the mic from the the hangout, is it? So oh, the I muting wasn't working. I don't know where it comes from. Know. It just comes. And it's hard to get rid of. But um, it seems to have gone now. Yeah, yeah it's gone. Steve's not on video. He's only on audio. Not Just that. stand by. Video. Video killed the radio show. How's that? One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. Yeah, that's yeah. still there a little bit. Still there. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Still there a little bit. Oh, you can't like the mute button on the on the Google thing. Obviously, doesn't work. Uh, up the top. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's going red. red. Oh, yeah. You got the microphone red. and the camera. And the That's camera. right. That's right. Yeah. It's red. It's red. red. Want to start another hangout? Just bug everyone. Bug out. No, of this. no, because the audio is coming through the Skype. So I'll just ring you guys back on the Skype. <laughs> oh, okay. Just stay there. Okay. Yeah. Hello? Hello? That's coming Hello? from your Hello? mate. I think. The internet is really bad tonight. Yeah, it is. There's some shit down. Yeah, I got Dean Car- Goodman back here. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. It's the carbon tax. <laughs> no, that's better. That's all good now, isn't it? Everyone there? It's great here. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. yeah that's all good. All right, good stuff. All right. Now, I think we've got Mark here as well. Mark. Hello. Hey. Um, hang on a sec. Are you are you free then? So, For we'll, 10 minutes. Okay, we'll start up then. We'll get you going because you're at work, I guess. Yeah, where else would I be? Yeah, true. All right. Um, uh, hang on a sec. Fucking bad. All right, and we're we're back with uh, Aussie Tech, and we've got Mark on the line. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Good, mate. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad. You're working again, I hear. Yes, I'm just walking in the rain to get into a quieter area. Was oh, it raining outside? Was it? Was that good? Well, it is in service paradise. Yeah, right. Nice, nice. And um, yeah, so what's going on with you? What have you been up to? Oh, look, I've just been, you know, doing stuff, kind of like. Uh, um, updating to iOS 5 and realising that it doesn't really do a hell of a lot that I've noticed. Um, and also getting over the fact that there's no more Steve Jobs, which can only mean we're going to start seeing some dramatic changes in Apple if, based on what happened in 95 when he got fired and the Pepsi-Cola guy took over. Yeah, I don't know. I reckon that I reckon he's got a safe full of ideas and and um, processes that, that will be in place. In 1987, and he did have a plan in place. This time, he had a plan yeah. 12 years to put in place and he did that very well. Yeah. So, look, I don't know if there'd be too many changes, but you never know. Well, I, don't, I don't know. It's not so much the actual products and stuff. I think it's more the administration side of things and, like, the whole rules and regulations. I think you're going to find that... I don't know. It's just, it's just something in my water. It's right. making me think that there right. might be some stri- stricter regulations brought down on yep. iTunes and a whole range of different things. They might get a little bit greedier than normal. Yeah, right. Oh, jeez. Not, not more greedier. And uh, so, so you've and, updated uh, all your devices to the new the iOS? Um, I've only updated um, my iPhone. I haven't actually, 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 up, actually, actually, that's a new term. I haven't updated the iPad yet, only because I didn't have yeah. enough time. And um, I'm also kind of like, oh, look, it's just, it's not young enough. I've got iCloud running on the uh, computers, which is kind of interesting. But your download usage goes up because you're downloading on five different products, five different devices, and it kind of like adds up. Yeah, well, I guess it would. I guess it would. I haven't u- utilised it too good, but it's, um, I'm going to get through it sometime today. But we've got a really bad yeah, well, connection. So when, when iCloud is only good if you're actually buying music off iTunes. That, that whole buying music, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's right. So um, <laughs> oh, we just got a really noisy connection, Mark. It's really hard to hear. Oh, so, look, that's because it's on, on 3G. Yeah, it might be that. We yeah. just got a lot of echo in here tonight. So I don't know what's going on. But um, Meeting strangers in the alley. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so uh, all right. Well, we might catch up with you another week. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, no. yeah, it's just a bit too yeah, noisy bit today. Busy. Not a problem, man. Not Next a... time I'll use a better I'm connection. A... All right, cool. All right, we'll talk right. to you soon. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Ciao. Ciao. All right. All right. What's going on with that connection? I don't know, but it's still here. Hang on. I'm getting it. I'm Did you say Optus 3G? Pardon? Pardon? Did you say Optus 3G? Oh, I'm not sure what he's on. Sure what? But it, it, there's another echo. There's an echo. <laughs> <laughs> Massive echo. The internet is flaky tonight. Some there's some sites are real quick and some are not. So one yeah. two one. one. It is flaky. One. Well, I, beg, I wonder if it's got anything to do with that rim business that's going on. I don't know. I don't know. But why is it? Why <laughs> is the audio gay? Gay. You want to restart everything? 
I think you're allowed to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, hang on. Thanks. Oh, if we we'll restart the or, or the Skype again. Hang on, I'll ring you back. Hi. Hello. 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 Oh, it's gone. Hello. It's gone. It's gone. Good. Yeah, I'm it join was your Hank brother. Again. Yeah, but I, I, hung up on, I hung up on him. I kept hanging up on him. Yeah, but he was still up with me. I didn't know how to hang up on him. Were you talking to him? Well, no, he was in the middle of your two faces in Skype. I got Glenn on the left, Eric on the right, and he was in the middle. But I kept hanging up on him. But he wasn't going. <laughs> Was still there. Well, that's probably what it was. That's what it was. Ah, oh, little retard. <laughs> right. Which, which brother? Oh, Have you had one, two, two. Yeah. Which? Then we second the second little the next one down from me. Not the one that you do the work for. No, no, another right. one. He's the younger one, is he? The younger one I do the work for. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, that's what it was, because I kept hanging up on him, but I thought his picture was still in the chat because it was because I initially, he came in right at the start, and I kept hanging up on him, but I thought, okay, it's the group, so he's still there, but he's hung up on. But now, He's been there the whole time. Yeah. Well, it's going all right now, isn't it? Super. All oh, right, for fuck's sake. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll start again. What a bloody a debauchery. Okay. All right. Now we've figured out the, the little echo problem, hopefully. So I think I was... Was I talking about... That's right. I was talking about the Victorian Apple Apple Android and iPhone app and all this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I thought that was like a week ago. I know. I know. <laughs> but look, just, just briefly, uh, there's apps out on the Victorian website. And look, I have got a... Uh, I'll do a, do a little screen grab here. A little screen uh, thingo, because like I went there to have a look at the app, you know, thinking, oh yeah, this will be all right, this should be good. There's a thousand of them. There is a thousand apps on the Victor. Where, where is it? Vic.gov.au social hyphen media um, slash mobile apps html. There's a thousand of them. There's Better Health Channel, Consumer Affairs Victoria, Country Fire Authority, Courts of Victoria. You could aggregate a lot of these into you know ten or so apps, wouldn't you? Well, I suppose they could do it, you know, all into one, and you just do a click on what you wanted. But um, yeah, state of design app, state of yeah, there's everything there. Vic event, but Vic events is the one that we that um one that came out through the week, and it looks like you know you can just jump in and see what's going on in your part of the town. So that's probably something for you there, Steve. Vic events. You get out and about in Victoria. Ah, uh, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you try not to. Um, not not really events and that sort of stuff. Like right. I don't have time. Like yeah, you know, I work all week and well most of the week, and then I'm home with my daughter and yep. then I'm trying to play some video games and watch some TV. You know, catch up on things that I've recorded, and then at bedtime and go to work and. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> that sounds like what I'm doing. You get sick and you go take them to the doctor and then you get sick and... Oh. oh, how does that work? Tell me about getting sick, everyone getting sick at the same time. Isn't that crazy? It's not at the same time, though. Like, you seem to... I mean, you're the last one to get it and then when you're over it, the first one's got it again and it just goes mm. around a big loop. That's right, yeah, yeah, it does. That's, that's bloody terrible, disgusting. <laughs> so is your daughter, your daughter in bed now, Steve? Oh yeah, yeah. Like it's she goes to bed at well, she went to bed at six today because she was naughty because we were driving down the freeway and I had both sunroofs open in the car and she had an orange juice she just finished and and she looked at the sunroof and I said, "Don't you throw that out?" And I looked <laughs> forward again and I saw in the mirror this thing go flying out the sunroof. Oh no, that's pretty funny. And all these cars, you know, come looking at me. Oh, I bet you I get a littering thing now. <laughs> yeah. So if anyone from the department of littering or whatever gets a thing. I didn't do it. Like, and she's in trouble. She went yeah. straight in her room and she went straight to bed and she was crying. So don't find me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, she, yeah, so she, she'll go through the whole night then. Wake up at Sparrows in the morning. Come yeah, and, about six o'clock, she'll jump into our yeah, bed. Come and jump on yeah. you. All right. Uh, yeah. Samsung is, uh, 
is, is in the news as well, again and continually. Depending on your subscription chosen, you can now will soon be able to subscribe to a music service in Australia. Uh, the Samsung's Music Hub service will allow users to stream music across all their Samsung devices, smartphones, tablets, TVs, Blu-rays, and whatever else you might have going. Um, the service via Samsung Apps offers a subscription to music streamed directly to a multitude of devices, uh, blah, 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 um, blah, blah, blah. Access to the services over 3G and Wi-Fi, and by December it will include access to more than 10,720p HD video, music videos. A subscription for a single Galaxy smartphone or tablet will cost $9.99 per month or $99.99 for 12 months. And uh, a premium subscription is fourteen ninety nine and one hundred forty nine annually. So blah blah blah, that's coming out. Apparently, it's going to be like a, a tiered release over all the devices. So it's not going to be on every device all at once. It's, um, so, for example, October seventeen, Samsung Galaxy two, uh, and then from November, Sam November one, Samsung Galaxy Tab seven inch will also get access to the service. And then over time, all the rest of the uh, Android two point two devices and higher will come online. So hey, anyone um, heard about we? If the the touchpads are still available, those HP that's, ones. That's sort of slowed down a bit, haven't they? Yeah. Well, yeah, oh. well, I guess so. DT is in the chat room. How's yours going, mate? How's your touch touchpad going? Probably not using it. I saw that someone's trying to put. Um, I don't know if they did succeed, but they were trying to put Android all over it. So I'm not sure. Yeah, oh yeah. So it, apparently, it left the HP factory with Android already on it. Something. Oh, okay, yeah, right, right. So that's... Uh, well oh, he's, a, he's about to put Android on it tonight. It was released today, Alpha. Well, there you go. Right mm. into it. Good stuff, right onto it. Uh, well, I'll try to uh, iOS 5 on it, mate. That'd be a much better uh, setup than Android. That wouldn't handle it, would it? It'd, uh, it'd, it'd oh, no, it wouldn't handle it. Probably wouldn't be. Probably, you could probably get iOS 3 on it. Mm. 5 might be crashing. That's eight. Do what? Windows 8. Windows 8? We Windows could do that. 8. <laughs> oh, God. That's, I don't like it. It's a, I just find it a little bit weird. No, it's, yeah. I, I set it up on my, my test machine and yeah, I got rid of it pretty quick. It's not ready yet. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my netbook and I've, I've yet to get the time to get to take it off, put your Windows 7 back on it. Mm -hmm. Well, now that I've got this uh, Xbox, I'm, I'm hoping that should free up a PC now. So I have a PC to do all this little bit of testing stuff on. So yep, that'll be good. Yep. It'll be good. Uh, all right. Is there any more stories, Eric, from you? Just, look, just one, one more for me on the mobile phone side. Apparently, during the week, um, ACMA, Australian Communications and Media Authority, wants calls to eighteen hundred numbers and thirteen and thirteen hundred numbers to be charged at local call rates. Apparently, they're pushing for this to go through, so you don't get stung when you're on a mobile phone yeah. yep. in these numbers. And um, apparently, seventy percent for, for example, you know that helpline for kids. Yeah. You know, the, you know when they're in they're in trouble, or they want some help, and you know suicide helpline that sort of thing. Yeah. Apparently, seventy percent of their calls came from mobiles, with many mm. kids reaching for help with issues such as self injury and suicide, and it's and it's a, a deterrent for these kids yeah, to call the because they can't afford it. Yes. Yep. And, uh, and I think it's good that I think that's they should. Bring it through because look, it costs them no more to have an eighteen hundred line. Yeah. The reason they have it and a thirteen hundred line from I look, I could be wrong, someone might correct me, is because it's easy to remember a thirteen number, thirteen hundred number. Yeah, because what most of the one three numbers well, I know when they first came out it was like one three and maybe like something the name of your shop or something, you know, easy yeah. to easy to remember. Yeah, one three, you know, one three ranger. Let's mm. get you get to Parliament House. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like they they should be like a local call, or, or there should be another another um, prefix, you know, for the cost of a local call on a mobile device. Because, yeah, yeah. as you said, like, like especially when you like when you say when you're looking at kids that they're worried about the price of it. That's why they're not going to ring. And because I know, no, um, and but, these kids are they're they're they're, they're box in a corner. I need help. I don't know what to do, but I haven't got any money. So, you know, mm. it's just. It's, that's, yeah. that's wrong. Yeah, look, I'm with you. And, I, and in this day and age, look, I went to school today and, and picked up a uh, little girl. And as, I, as, as the kids were walking out, uh, there's this little girl on the phone. This is primary school. I was ringing what? A, yeah, ringing a mum or whatever she's doing. She's talking on the phone as she's walking out the gates. I go, mum, where are you? 
yeah, come and pick me up. And I'm going, oh, geez. But but that's just where we're going, you know. Like, like if I didn't have ADSL, I wouldn't have a, a landline. Simple as that. Yeah. Simple right. as well, that. Well, look, my, my oldest daughter didn't get a phone until the Christmas before she started high school, which was like the Christmas just passed. Yeah. So I got, an, I got her an iPhone 4. Oh, yeah, yep. And have you put restrictions on that of use, restrictions of use? No. 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 She, she goes... I, I look at usage and... And I've told her this is how it's going to work. I put a, a, a usage meter on her on her phone so she can check her usage because I want her to be responsible for herself. Yeah. You know, check her usage so make sure she's not going over her caps. Yeah. And she, look, she won't go over the caps on the calls or the SMS. It's the data is what they yeah, right. hammer yeah. into. Um, and you've got, but you've, no, she's been good. She's, it's been nearly a year now she's had it. Hasn't gone over a cap once. Yeah, and and you've got that. All your your house is rigged up to open DNS. Yes, yeah, all open open DNS. That's right. Yeah, nice work, nice work. Yeah, all right. So um, yeah. So do you get um like those lower plans? Do you have to buy the same plan as like a, an adult, or do you get children's plans? No, nah, there's no kids' plans. Yeah. It's basically you're gonna screw you whether you're young, yeah. or old, or in between. You can't get like add-ons. because no, we got bund- look, everything's bundled with Telstra. So her iPhone plan is only 39, 39 bucks a month, mm. but and she gets a gig of data and and you know four hundred bucks yeah. worth of calls and SMS. And she she obviously That's, would use Wi Fi when she's at home. Yeah, Wi Fi. Tell her it's Wi Fi on. And she's got a Wi Fi hotspot in the room, so there's no excuse. Oh yeah, nice, nice. All right. Well, I think that's just going to about uh, do us for this week. Unless you had anything else, Eric. No, that's it. No. That's how, it. how are you going, Steve? Having fun? Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> I was going to say one little thing. Yeah. Uh, don't know if you caught my tweets the other day, but um, I don't know if you can see. This is a Logitech um, Clear Chat headset. Yeah. It was about one hundred seventy-five dollars. It's in perfect order. It works beautiful. It has a nice Wi-Fi thing you plug in. Everything's great with it. Except the five dollar power supply, oh. it died. So oh. we get onto um, Logitech support. Three weeks later, in a whole heap of phone calls, they sent me a letter saying we are unable to find or to, you know to supply you with a replacement power supply. Even though I said, look, I'm happy to pay for one. I just mm. don't want to have to throw the whole thing away from a five dollar power supply. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sorry, how much was the headset? You can still buy these in all the shops. They're available everywhere. So you know they can if they wanted to. So. I um, typed a little thing into Twitter saying, thank you very much for nothing, Logitech, for making this thing useless, blah, 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 at Logitech or whatever the sign is. Yeah. And actually yeah, got I, back I to me. I, I did see your uh, frustration, <laughs> Steve, on your tweets. And that seemed pretty ridiculous that, um, you know, that's fantastic support right there, isn't it? Yeah. And what happened, well, Steve? Did you, did you get a response? Well, they, they said, um, we're sorry to hear that you're having problems. Can you please send us the uh, re- reference number and we will look into it. Yeah. And... I did that, and they sent me a message back saying they're looking into it, <laughs> and I will report <laughs> when they're I look- hear back. So, <laughs> yeah, so so the unit, so the power supply is actually in the plug. Is that how it was? It's just your normal, I don't know if you can see it, it's just your normal, you know, little power pack. Yeah, oh, yeah, I see what you're saying, yep, 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 yep. So a little plug. They used yep. to have a little light in the end of it. Right. And that... You, well, it does still, but just doesn't do anything. Plugs into the into the the clear chat, which charges it up. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. So so anyway, it doesn't charge anymore. So the battery's <sighs> finally gone flat. Yep. So it's useless. And it's basically a hundred and seventy dollar throwaway item. Yeah. Right. Just because the power supply is no good. Yeah, that's hope. You, you'd want to escalate that complaint if you can. Well, I have. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I sent them a message back saying, explain to them that I run a business here in Australia and. I mm. spent thousands of dollars, which is no exaggeration. Like, I don't know if you can see here, there's like Logitech stuff everywhere. Yeah. Um, and all the machines that I sell, um, you know, I sell them all with Logitech components, you know, webcams, keyboards, mice, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh, well, hopefully you'll hear a positive, have, get a positive result out of that. Because I know, like, I've got... going, I can assure you, I am going to get a positive result. Yeah, yeah, well, well, yeah, because like I've got what well, I've got Logitech mouse, keyboard, camera as well. Like I've got Logitech everything as well. Come, come to think of it, look around it. A thirty dollars headset, it wouldn't bother me, but it's not. It's an expensive headset, you know. So, yeah, but even from the point, and of, I'm happy to pay ten, fifteen, twenty bucks for a new power supply, you know, and the freight, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So you can't open up the power supply and have a bit of a look, look, looks at yourself. 
if I get in there. And, you can't open up the power supply and have a bit of a bit of a go yourself. Oh, I don't want to. Yeah. 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 True. True. Not until they they might say send it back. Exactly. Well, I'm just leaving it. Like this, I'm going to follow this. And the other thing I was going to say is, um, I was playing the beta of Battlefield Three over the last couple of weeks, or last week, I have long. Yep. I don't know if you've heard about that, have you? No, no, I'm not a, into games. I will be, but I'm not sort into it yet. <laughs> very anticipated game replacing, um, I guess it replaces um, Battlefield Bad Company 2, whatever it is. Right. Um, it's a really, really different concept the way it works. It basically, you're playing a game inside a browser. Right. And you just oh, enter full screen it, and then it's a full screen thing. It's got a few bugs and everything else, but it's really cool. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Can't wait for it to come out. Pre ordered it. Yeah. It's nice. in, uh, a couple of weeks, I think. So, so you play, you're a PC gamer? Right. I have a, I do have a PS3, but I don't really ever play any games on it. I am a, I am a, a PC gamer, yes. So, do, do I, you still get joysticks and stuff, or um, is it all keyboards these days? Um, well, the games I play are mainly mouse and keyboards. Um, I do have like one, two keyboards. I have three force feedback steering wheels. <laughs> I don't even know how I ended up with three, but I have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and a G510 keyboard and a G15 on the other machine. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I play, you know, yeah, um, multi-online games and stuff like that. I suppose. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. All right. Well, um, yeah. Thanks for coming on, Steve. I'm going to get your little website up here now, and now that I've got a browser here. Uh, yeah, Eric. Yes. What's that, mate? Oh. I say, just give him a give him a plug. Yes. What What's your website, um, Steve? Um, abletechandautomotive.com.au. All right. So go there and have a look at that, and uh, yeah, some good pictures of some uh, some. Beasts of machines that you've built over the years. I just put in some photos and a bit of a description of things that I do on that little blog there. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice page too. Nice website, nice and uh, clean, and got a lot of uh, social media um, goodness involved and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> that's real good. Plug and play. <laughs> that's right. That's right. All right. Well, yeah. So once again, thanks for coming on, Steve. We'll have a. We'll hopefully get you on again soon. No worries. Thank you. And thanks, Eric. Thanks for coming Thanks, on. Mate. No problem at all. No, no worries. All right. Thanks, everyone. And don't forget, you can uh, contact me or Eric or Will at Glenn, Eric or Will at AussieTechEds.com.au. Join us Thursday night, 7.30, live.thesecrethub.com, Queensland time. It's an hour later if you're in the southern states and whatever it is around the rest of the place. All right. Thanks for that. And we'll see you next week. Ta-da. Bye-bye. Bye.